going on, guys? This is Rebel Shooter, man. I'm here to do a range report on the JTS model XPT-12 chamber, the 12 gauge. Um, this shotgun is considered a budget shotgun. You get this for under, under $200. That's how much I paid for mine. Um, it's been a great gun. I haven't done much to it. I won't do anything really to it. The only thing I did was put this cheap optic on it. I have shot it with the optic, and surprisingly, this optic has kept zero. Uh, I had this optic before I even had this shotgun. Had got this from eBay a few years, I think a year or some change ago. So I ain't had nothing to go on it. I didn't want to put it on nothing expensive. So I said, all right, I got a cheap shotgun. Let me throw it on there because it came with this rail. The shotguns, this rail came with the shotgun. So that's all I'm really doing to it. But let's get into the, the range report, man. Uh, comfort and recoil. Grip, excellent comfort. Very good grip. I love the grip on this gun. One of the best loaded shotgun that I own. Trigger is is pretty decent. It's not. It's a little greedy, but it's 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 all right. It's all right for what it's worth. What you expect out of a hundred and seventy, hundred eighty dollar shotgun. Uh, the recoil, man, is very substantial in this gun. His gun is not heavy. It's pretty light. I'm lifting it with no problem. It's one of the lightest shotguns I own. This supposed this is rubber on this stock here does really nothing you feel it with this shotgun so the recoil is a little it's a little harsh on this shotgun just be be advised maybe it's because this shotgun here everything is conformed it's not a uh a collapsible stock where it can kind of absorb a lot of the recoil but uh yeah it it, it you definitely feel it man another issue with this gun as far as the comfort and the uh, as comfort is concerned, the handling is the for some reason this here. I mean, you can get a good you get a good grip on it. It just sometimes it just feels like it. Uh, I don't know, kind of like it, it, it. Even if you grip it firm, kind of like jumps out of your hand a little bit. I guess it's because this this thing is so light. To me, it's light, you know, and then. Sometimes then you got to reset your hand on the foregrip sometimes with this thing, even though it's you, you you can get a pretty good grip on it because the stippling will allow it. But for some reason, you can firmly grip it and it'll still kind of like buck out of your hands a little bit. And, I, and I've been shooting shotguns for a while. And this is the only one that it does that happens with is with this one, you know, uh, reliability. Um I think I had maybe one failure, one failure to eject with it. And it was probably out of a, a, a super low load. I think it was like a, a, a bird shot, but it was only one. It was like the second round of me ever firing it. But after that, put about like maybe 70, 80 through it. That's not a lot, but it's enough, I guess, for right now. And it hasn't malfunctioned at all. That was all in one range trip. So it hasn't really malfunctioned. So, um, this one is just plain Jane. This have the gold B sights at the front. And I just threw this at the top. But there's really no issues as far as I can see with it. Uh, reliability seems pretty good. Only things you might have issues with is the recoil. And this foregrip, at least for me, was a little, uh, you know, hard to keep a hold on for some reason. But other than that, man, it's a great shot. Uh, go out and get you one, man. JTS. Model XPT 12, J with a 12 gauge. This is Rebel Shooter, man. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'll definitely see y'all in the next one. Peace.